use, but I did. This is just transparent oxide red. Probably won't use too much of that. Phthalo blue, ultramarine blue, Prussian blue, lizard and crimson, titanium whites, naphthol red. This is Idaho. It's called Mesa Falls. I haven't been there, but it's a, just a waterfall scene, but it's going to be icy. Lots of ice in this one. So let's see. I should probably plan this out because it's a different perspective than I normally do. Let's see. I don't think there's any brown left in this brush. If there is, oh well. It happens. Let's see. What do we want? Edge of the waterfall here comes down that way. This way. This is how, this is how I plan my paintings if you're just joining in. The line of the trees. That's too far. I'll go this way. There we go. Trees up and down here. Sky here. I think that's good. That's good. Ice here. There. Okay. Wall of rocks. That's the plan. That's the plan. Three lines and four dots. <laughs> let's get. Let's get. It. Let's go. My wife said if I buy another canvas, she'll beat me with my paintbrush. <laughs> oh no. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. All right, let's use. Let's just use. Let's use thalo blue for some of this, most of the sky. I think I touched some Prussian blue, but let's just use thalo blue. Okay, <laughs> I did have some Prussian blue in there. It's making some weird effects in the sky. Sky. Now we can add the Prussian blue to the corners. There we go. Might wipe that out here in a second. Or blend it out. Have some brush marks there. There'd be a blender brush. <laughs> All right, I think that's okay. I don't know if we want to add some clouds in. If we do, they'd be pretty small. Won't be able to see much of them, but maybe we can add one. One up here in the corner. Frosty cloud, just hanging out. We can one that out. It comes out here. There we go. All right. Get the. Where's the bunny brush go? Well. Blend. Big frosty cloud. He's just hanging out. There we go. This is going to be kind of a more basic Bob Ross type painting. Not too much to it. All right. Let's start throwing in the back line of trees. These are going to be the darker blue. Just tap. 
nothing in. maybe two or three layers of these. Let's see, where's this uh, or light? Here we go. Just pulling up. I don't know why I pulled down there, but yeah. like icy distant trees. I can pull those ones up a little bit straighter. They're kind of leaning that way. I don't want them to lean, but I don't want them to lean at all, really. There we go. I think that's good. All right, whoops, I dropped it down. We gotta add some little pine trees in between. The waterfall, back on this hill. We're gonna put them up there. Just use, I can use ultramarine maybe. Since we're just using all the blues. This is more of a sad pine tree. He's leaning over. Here we go. Make two of them. Probably do three or four. Maybe five. Maybe six. I don't know. side. good for that. Add just a touch of highlights on those ones. That's okay if we have blue already in the white. I think it's fine. I need some oil though. Seed oil. Just adding some snow on these guys back here. Oh, forgot this one. There we go. All right, so we got a little distant trees. Now we got to add a little rock face type deal here in the middle. All right, we'll use a palette knife for this. Oh, Uncle 60. Oh, yeah, you can't leave. <laughs> I turned off the links because of spam bots. I should turn it on to whitelist people who want to share links. I'm going to try that after the stream. Nathan Hodge, I'm new to this channel. Love your work. Thanks. Thanks, Nathan. Good to have you. All right, let's spread. I'm just going to put crimson and oxide red together. And then maybe 
some Prussian blue. Like a darker color for the rocks back here. All right, there's gonna be rocks. I'm trying to think. I have a mental image of what it should look like. Sometimes they don't quite line up. here in the middle and then the river kind of waterfall yeah are you painting happy little trees bubbles ask yes painting some happy trees some snow a little bit of everything here all right let's get out the other brush i'll add some trees up on top up on here of the mountains, or the, not mountains, cliff, just a little bit. I need to break in this fan brush too, it's not, it's a wild fan brush, if you've ever, new fan brushes are always wild. You just go right into the tops of these. I probably could have done the rocks afterwards, but. Prussian blue. A little one here. And one there. And then I got that snow down on this. All right, I think that's about maybe one more on this right side here. I think that's good enough for this ridge. There we go. Wipe off the brush again. We got our highlighting brush. Might need some more oil. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Just a little bit. Two drops. Some blue that was left on there. Nothing fancy for these trees. There you go. Then some on this little one, and then him. I think that's good enough for the background trees. For the other background trees. some more highlights to these. I guess this would be the snow. Snow up on these. bottom part before we keep going. 
Probably just blue for the rest of it. Prussian blue, maybe. Maybe ultramarine, I don't know. I'm not sure. You got Vermilion and came across it. Ah, Vermilion, that's a great app for folks who don't want to. If you just want to try out painting and you've never painted before, Vermilion is excellent. It's a VR app that's very similar to real painting. Not one to one, but it's very similar. Put ultramarine blue up there. Just filling this in. I'll cover it up with other colors here in a bit. Probably should have done that first, but that's fine. We'll cover all this in. All right, I need to wipe this brush off real quick. This is my blue brush. Probably add in more mountains here in a second because this should be lower. Let's see. Let's pull these down. Extended the cliff a little bit. Not exactly like Mesa Falls anymore, but that's okay. Nate, I'm looking for a Christmas gift for my dad. Any tips? That's a good question. Depends on what your dad likes. I usually just give my dad a landscape painting every year. At least the past few years. Seems to make him cheer him up. He likes those mountains usually. Almost dropped it. Didn't drop it that time. Came close. <laughs> Sometimes I do drop my tools. do the waterfall here. All right, let's see. Might need a darker blue. Is this dark? That's pretty dark. Dark enough, I think. Might need to add some bushes up here at the top, but we make do with what we got. All right. We need a little bit of water here. I'll add some bushes up there to kind of fix. Fix the perspective. Let's do that real quick before we get too far. Fix it while we can. Okay, I think that's 
good enough. We got some of this weird gray color. Something like that. And then we can come back in with the white and the blue. Splash them a bit. All right, now we're gonna get ready for this part. We need lots of oil because we're gonna come over the side. Lots of layers of paint, so it needs to be thin. Otherwise, we'll get into a bit of a mess. All right, this is just white oil. A bit of blue, a little bit of blue, not too much, a little bit. All right, here we go. Okay, I think that's good enough, then we'll have some splashes down here. Two buckets of water here. I need to sort out. Not two buckets, two uh, sources. There's like the this one coming over, and then there's like the, another one that's behind it. Too harsh up here. It's like a <laughs> rapid. Okay, that's kind of getting there. Not quite, but close enough. Don't buy expensive supplies. Yeah, that's a good tip. April barrel paints. I haven't used I haven't used acrylics in a long time. I forget what brand I used. That messed me up pretty bad. <laughs> it was like a, just gave me hives. I did try Sarah colors though, and those seem to work pretty well. They're not they're not acrylics, but like a water soluble paint. I'm just gonna add in something to and block it in this area over here. It's like a cliff or something. I'm getting into, I call this no man's land. <laughs> this corner that I can't get to because of the knobs or the lip. Lip on the side here. Like that. Here we go. I'm gonna wipe this off. Paul's gotta go. Alright, see you Paul. Thanks for joining. Fluid pour art. I haven't tried that but I've seen it on Instagram. It looks pretty cool. Alright, now I'm just gonna kinda throw some on the side here. Looks like icicles, that's what I'm trying to get. Or ice shelf, I don't know what, what how you'd say. <laughs> that's okay. Maybe 
some here. You can always pull it down with the uh, script liner if we really want it to look like icicles. Kenneth, I just finished painting, sat down, found you painting. It's fun to watch you bravely get with the painting program. Thanks, Kenneth. Much appreciated. I feel like I need something more in the middle here. Some bushes or something. I don't know. I don't know. But I need something. Maybe we'll add some bushes. I don't know. It's starting to diverge from the <laughs> source material quite a bit, but that's okay. We'll just add some bushes here and there. Especially like right here, it looks kind of weird. I think that's okay for that part. Are the Alexander brushes better than Ross ones? Their site never seems to have the half inch. It, I like them more. I like the uh, two and a half inch a lot, but they, ne yeah, like you said, they never have them in stock. I don't know. Supply chain issues, probably something. But I haven't seen them in stock in at least a year. It's been a long time. I ain't seen them. I'm just going to add something crazy here. I just took the palette knife and pulled white, <laughs> straight titanium white down. I don't know. Sometimes I like doing that. It makes the water look a little stronger. Like you can feel it. You can feel that water coming out of there. That's good enough for that side. Maybe a little bit there. Don't want to touch it up too much. Whoops. And I do want to fix this edge. I don't like this edge right here. I don't like the way it looks. I don't know why. It just looks weird. I didn't like it. There we go. All right. That seems okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I want to add anything else. Maybe some more. Could add stuff down here, but I don't want to go too deep down the rabbit hole of painting stuff. Or what do they call it? Piddling? <laughs> Piddling and things. But I do want to add some frosty frosty bushes up here. Well, just a little bit. I think that would be a nice touch. Just a little bit. Alright, this is Thalo blue with some oil into the white. I like punching it, that gives it a... Here we go. There we go. Maybe some here. Just around. Around the edges. Brighten things up a little bit. There we go. Okay. I said I was going to piddle and then I piddled. Oh wow. Alright. I think that's good enough for today. As far as this stuff goes. To the red for the signature and call it a day. This is supposed to be Mesa Falls, Idaho. I don't know how much it looks like Mesa Falls at this point. <laughs> I had a vision in my head and then it lost it. But I'm gonna it up somewhere else. That happens. That's okay. What do I want to sign? I'll put it over here. I don't usually sign over here, but might as well. It's a nice dark space. What do you do? All right. Got 
oil all over my hands. Happens. All right, wipe this brush off, and then oh, I call it there. Good cheap chip brush is the Fuller by Red Tree. Solvent proof brushes, Hobby Lobby. They have a fuller basic chip brush. Nice. Than what you find at hardware. That's a good, good suggestion. Lots of stuff to check out at Hobby Lobby and Michael's today. <laughs> I'll probably be going there after this. Pick up those canvases. Alright, let's take her down. See how it went. I don't know. This seems okay. I do like the blues. Different colors of blues. 